Hi everyone, and welcome back to your awesome reading comprehension. This is level one, lesson number six, and we are just ripping through this book. Okay, maybe not ripping through it, but we're doing amazing, right? Because there's 50 lessons, and we're on number six, but we're doing great. Today, we're going to read another story. Now, before we get started, remember to get your copy of my book. Here is the information, links are in the description for the video to get yours. That way you can learn the vocabulary with me and follow along. Let's get started. <laughs> I'm excited too. Now, here is the picture that goes along with our story today. We have two women walking on a road and it looks like there's a forest next to them, so it's pretty nice. Let's see what this image means. But before we go into the story, we have to look at the reading comprehension questions because that's what you do first, right? Yeah, you knew that. What is this story about? What is one of the scariest holidays in North America? What can ghosts do on Halloween? What are all ghosts? Oh, <laughs> number four. <sighs> Gotta read it right. Are all ghosts mean? Hmm, number five. What do ghosts, why, wow struggling here. Why do ghosts walk around on Halloween? And number six, which is the challenge question, why do some children never know who helped them? Hmm. That's an interesting one. Why do they never know who helped them? Hmm. Let's find out. Here is our story for this lesson. Halloween. Ooh. Halloween is one of the scariest holidays of the year. In North America and Europe, Children like to dress up in costumes and go out trick or treating. They go outside in the dark to get candy from their neighbors. However, the ghosts like to go out too. Mm. On Halloween, ghosts are able to walk in the world of the living. You cannot touch a ghost because you will pass right through them. Ghosts are also very cold. When you are around a ghost, it will feel like you are next to an open refrigerator. Ooh chilly. Some ghosts are very scary and mean. Others are very friendly. There are two ghosts called the White Sisters. The White Sisters are very friendly. They walk around on Halloween night and watch all the children going out to get candy. Mm. When people see them, they think the White Sisters are just friends going for a walk. They are actually watching the children because many kids get lost on Halloween. When a goat, not a ghost, when a child gets lost, <laughs> the White Sisters help the child find their parents and friends. Many children never know they were helped by ghosts. The children who learn the White Sisters are ghosts learn the good deeds that ghosts do on Halloween night. I can already tell that I am making mistakes with what I read. <laughs> that's like the third one. But that's okay. Mistakes happen and... You just keep going on. They're not that big of a deal. Let's look back at our questions. Number one, what is this story about? Well, we just read a story all about Halloween. We read a story about two sisters who are ghosts and they help children. So can we put that into a sentence? Of course we can. Here we go. What is this story about? This story is about Halloween and the white sister ghosts that help children. We took every piece from the story. We said, oh, it's about Halloween, the white sisters, they help children. And we said, one sentence. That is an easy way to make a sentence about what the story is about, right? A way to condense it all into something very simple. Number two. What is one of the scariest holidays in North America? Well, we know that scariest is the key word, right? Scariest and holiday. So in the story, we have to look for those two words or something similar. In the last lesson, we learned that the word can be similar, but a different tense. So we're still looking for that idea, that same concept. Let's go into the story. Halloween is one of the scariest holidays of the year. There it is. It made it really easy for us, didn't it? 
What is one of the scariest holidays of the year in, well, in North America? Halloween. It's the holiday that the whole story is about, Halloween. So Halloween is one of the scariest holidays in North America. I feel, I feel like that was a free answer, you know? And sometimes you'll get those. Sometimes the answer is just that simple. It's the first sentence. It doesn't happen often, but sometimes we get lucky. Number three, what can ghosts do on Halloween? Okay, so what can a ghost do? Do. So we're going to look for some actions, right? Do means action. A ghost doing something. We have to look for that. Ghosts doing something. Let's look in the story for ghosts doing some type of action. On Halloween, ghosts are able to walk. Walking is an action, right? Are able to walk in the world of the living. Ghosts are, ghosts are able to walk in the world of the living. Yeah, cool, right? So walk. What can they do? Ghosts can do. Ghosts can walk. So let's make that our answer. On Halloween, right from the question, right? On Halloween, what? Ghosts can walk. Hmm. Now, we're going to take more details from the story, right? Ghosts can walk. That's the answer. Ghosts can walk, but we want to add more. Ghosts can walk where? Around the world of the living, right? They can walk around in the world of the living. Look at me. <laughs> I told you. We're making mistakes today, but that's okay because the answer is still correct. On Halloween, ghosts can walk around in the world of the living. Hmm. Number four, are all ghosts mean? Hmm. Are all ghosts mean? That's going to be something important there. Ghosts mean, mean, angry, Rawr, right? We have to look for ghosts and mean. Those are our two key ideas. Let's go into the story and bam! Some ghosts are very scary and mean. Others are very friendly. Some, some ghosts are very scary. You see that? Right there, we got some ghosts are very scary. But the question says, are all ghosts mean? Well, we know it's not true, right? Because the sentence started with some. So, are all ghosts mean? Not all ghosts are mean. Some are friendly, right? Some are scary, some are silly, no. Some are friendly, right from the story. Are all ghosts mean? No. That's the simple answer. If I said that to a child, hey, are all ghosts mean? No. Right? I don't know why his eyes are closed, but no, that's a child answer. It's correct, but it's the simplest answer. Are all ghosts mean? No. Not all ghosts are mean. That's the negative form, right? Not all ghosts are mean. Okay, but we're going to get more detail because we're awesome. Some are friendly. That wasn't so bad. Let's look at number five. Why do the ghosts walk around on Halloween? Ooh, walk around. We need to give a reason why they walk around. That's going to be it's probably specific, right? It's pretty specific of a thing, walking around. I bet we can find that. There it is. They walk around, exactly from the question, they walk around on Halloween night and watch all the children going out to get candy. They are actually watching the children. Ooh, it's two different sentences. You see that? Two sentences. We have more information to help us build this answer. Why? We're still looking for that why. They are actually watching the children because many kids get lost on Halloween. Okay. So see that, we had a sentence here that was our answer, and then later we had another sentence related. They shared the same idea, right? Watching, watch all the children watching. That is something you have to watch out for. Ha <laughs> ha, watch out for. Now how do we put this all together for our answer? Why do the ghosts walk around on Halloween? Well, the sisters. See now, why did I say the sisters? If you think about it, 
This story is not about all ghosts. It's about two specific ghosts, right? They are ghosts. So when I talk about the ghosts, I'm going to talk about these ones because that's what the story was about. The sisters walk around on Halloween, right from the question, walk around on Halloween. Why? To watch children and make sure they don't get lost. That was the second sentence, right? In the story. Why? To watch the children to make sure they don't get lost. We take that and connect it to the original part, right? Who are they? The sisters. That was our detail, right? We could just say ghosts walk around, but is that true? No. Some are mean and some are friendly, so we can't just say ghosts. We have to be specific, which is matching up with our very first answer, right? This story is about Halloween and the White Sisters that help children. That's the ghosts that are relevant. They are important to our answer. So, why do ghosts walk around on Halloween? The sisters walk around on Halloween to watch children and make sure they don't get lost. We have to give that answer because it doesn't tell what all the other ghosts do. We don't know, but we know what these do. Let's look at number six. Why do some children never know who helped them? Okay, so why do they never know who helped them? Let's see if we can find those two pieces, children never knowing something and helped being helped, right? Who helped them? There it is. When people see them, they think the white sisters are just friends going for a walk. Many children never know they were helped by ghosts. Ooh. The children who do learn the white sisters are ghosts learn the good deeds that ghosts do on Halloween night. Hmm. So, why don't the children know who helped them? Well, in that very last sentence, we saw it, right? Let's go back. The white sisters are ghosts, right? The children who do learn, who do learn, the white sisters are ghosts. That's the key thing right there, who do learn. That means some don't learn, okay? So they don't learn. Some do learn and some don't learn. Let's go back to the question. Why do some children, some children, never know who helped them? Many children, some children, never learn, don't know, never learn, same, right? Never learn who the white sisters are really ghosts. We never learn that they're really ghosts. Some children find out that their ghosts are helping them, but some don't. So that's what we say. Some children, many children, never learn the White Sisters are really ghosts. It was a thinking one. You know, it wasn't an obvious answer. It wasn't simply copy and paste, right? It wasn't see it and copy it from the story. Sometimes you have to think about it. It's very important that we, this is what we learned today, it's very important to watch keywords like some and all, the amount, how many. Because sometimes, sometimes, answers are not matching based on just that small thing, right? Are all ghosts mean? No, some of them are. See? Boom. You know? Who helps them? Who helps them? Well, not all ghosts help them. There we go. I hope you had fun today. I don't know why I had such a hard time reading. <laughs> but it happens. Everybody has an off day, even people who are perfect at speaking. Well, native at speaking. I'm not perfect at speaking, but well, that's okay. We keep trying and we keep having fun. And I'll see you for the next lesson. Bye.